Hey guys, uh, welcome to your all 12 signs reading. Um, what are their next moves towards you? So we're going to take a look at that, uh, like take a look at the person that you're dealing with, thinking of, okay? Uh, we're going to see what their next moves are towards you. You can apply this to your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Uh, we are going to go in order from Aries all the way to Pisces. I'll, I'll timestamp the uh, zodiac signs in the comment section below. Uh, so apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take, uh, take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective of, uh, of each of the zodiac signs. Not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below, okay? So let's start with Aries here. Aries. Tell me about Aries. The person that Aries is dealing with, thinking of. What is this person's next move towards Aries? What is this person's next move towards Aries? What is this person's next move towards Aries? Tell me about Aries here. The person that Aries is dealing with, thinking of here. We have the Hierophant. Taurus energy. And the Three of Wands here. In the Four of Cups, I, I feel like this is an individual that's coming in to make some sort of offer or an apology here, okay? Whoever this is, this is an individual that's planning a future here with you or wants to plan a future here with you, okay? Uh, they're looking to offer you some sort of commitment, but with the Four of Cups here, you know, it might not be enough. So I'm not quite sure what this person did to you. This person fears or knows that you might reject them or something like that, okay? Could be dealing with the Taurus here. We have the Three of Cups. Definitely, definitely a reconciliation energy here. Someone here is definitely coming back around. Uh, we have the Three of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune here, and the Queen of Wands here. You know, it's sort of like maybe this person's experiencing karma and the, the tables have turned here. And I, and I feel like this person's definitely coming back around to make something right here with you. I mean, this could also be an indication that this person's experiencing karma because you're already out there, you know, meeting new people. Or that you've learned some big lessons here or that you've changed here, Aries, okay? What else do we have for, for Aries? We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Six of Pentacles here and the Knight of Pentacles. I mean, this could be an indication that you are in this energy of really focusing on your pentacles right now, really working hard, or that this person is doing everything that they can to win you back. You know, I feel like this person could be begging. This person could be doing cartwheels, backflips and stuff, stuff like that, somersaults, whatever it takes. I feel like this person wants to come back. Yeah, with the world card here and the Knight of Cups, I feel like this is an individual that has unfinished business here with you. You know, I feel like at some point with the Two of Swords here and the Two of Wands, this was a this was an individual that had options or that this person was really indecisive or that they could have been very sexually manipulative. Whoever this is, this is an individual that's missing you a lot. And like I said, they want to come back around. This person's still very passionate about you. They miss you a lot. All right. That does it for Aries. Moving on to Taurus. Taurus here. Tell me about Taurus, the person that Taurus is dealing with, thinking of. What is this person's next move towards Taurus? What is this person's next move towards Taurus? What is this person's next move towards Taurus? The person that Taurus is dealing with, thinking of. What is this person's next move towards Taurus? Okay, we have the Two of Swords. Uh, uncertain. Yeah, I, I feel like this person doesn't really know what to do. Okay, this person... I feel like this person's coming off very standoffish. You know, I, I feel like they, they seem uninterested because I feel like this person's confused. This person doesn't really know what they want. But then I feel like with the Knight of Cups here, I feel like this person's in love with you. So I feel like this person's definitely giving themselves whiplash here or that they could be giving you whiplash. Page of Pentacles in the reverse, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Knight of, Pentac uh, Knight of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You know, I feel like this person cannot really offer you some sort of commitment here or some something to you. But I feel like this person goes back and forth, like I said, Taurus. Um, let's see what else we have. We have the Seven of Wands. Um, 
We have the Ace of Cups here and the Knight of Wands. Uh, this person's so confusing. It's like one moment this person's completely in love with you. They want to fight for you. They want to stand right beside you here. And then the next moment this person kind of like, no, just kidding. I, I, I'm not quite sure if I want that or not. Uh, the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Ace of Cups, Seven of Wands. What else do you have here for Taurus? We have the King of Cups in the reverse here. Uh, one moment this person loves you and then the next moment this person doesn't. This person's really strange, uh, Taurus. We have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, one moment this person's putting in a lot of effort and then they pull their energy back. Okay, and then the Queen of Pentacles here. I mean, you're ready for someone here who's ready to commit. You're ready for someone here who's, you know, I feel like for you, Taurus, someone that's consistent is really important to you. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like this person's very deceptive. This person's playing a lot of games here, okay? I feel like this is an individual that, that's not quite loyal here, that's not ready to commit. I feel like this person fears commitment, but also they see as a one. They see as a one, but they're distancing themselves here. They don't want commitment with you. Uh, this person's really kind of back and forth here. I feel like this person drives you nuts, Taurus, okay? That does it for Taurus. Moving on to uh, Gemini. Gemini here. Gemini. Gemini. Talking about Gemini here. The person that Gemini is dealing with or thinking of. What is this person's next move towards Gemini? What is this person's next move towards Gemini? What is this person's next move towards Gemini? Tell me about the, the person that Gemini is dealing with, thinking of. What is this person's next move towards Gemini? We have the Tower. Aries, Scorpio, Energy. We have the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Three of Cups here. Whoever this is, two of Cups here. Four of Cups. Um, whoever this is, the Hangman, Piscean Energy. Whoever this is, this is an individual that I would say has been out of your life for quite a while here. And I feel like this person's unexpectedly coming back to reunite with you. They're looking for a reconciliation. The Tower, Aries, Scorpio, Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Two of Cups, Four of Swords, and the Hangman. If you guys have been in no communication, we have someone here that's about to break communication here. Okay? And, and I feel like you're not going to expect this. Yeah, you're not going to expect this, uh, uh, Gemini. Let's get a few more cards here and see. We have the Nine of Cups. Yeah, whoever this is, this is an individual that's seen you as wish fulfillment. You know, this could also be an indication that, you know, whatever has transpired between you and this person, what they did was a final nail in the coffin. They feel like with the Nine of Cups here and the Ten of Swords, you're happy on your own. You don't need this person. You're just closing the door on this person here, okay? And you're moving forward. King of Cups, Eight of Pentacles here. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like this is an individual that's coming back to fight for this connection, to work on this connection here, okay? Yeah, I just feel like this is an individual that's trying to manifest this back. Yeah, they're trying to manifest this back. I feel like this person wants to apologize for causing so much chaos in your life here with the Five of Wands, okay? That's Gemini. Moving on to Cancer. Moving on to Cancer here. Talking about Cancer, the person that Cancer is dealing with or thinking of. What is this person's next move towards Cancer? What is this person's next move towards Cancer? What is this person's next move towards Cancer for August 2023? Or, or these are timeless. I mean, yeah, it could be at, for any time, whenever you catch this. What is this person's next move towards Cancer? Okay. You know, the Four of Wands here. And the Seven of Cups. Mm. You know, I, I feel like this person, you're definitely was or currently in some sort of higher level, levels of commitment with this individual. But I feel like this person's definitely like maybe out there exploring other options here. And I feel like it's causing a lot of conflict between you and this person. Okay, let's see what else we have here, Cancer. Um, we have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Oh, wow. With a ton of pentacles here. You know, um, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this person is definitely very solid, very stable here with you. If you're worried about this person, uh, you know, going out there having one night stands, this person's not. Yeah, if you're worried about this person cheating on you, this person's not. You know, what they've been giving you here is very genuine and sincere, and they're really serious about, 
you know, a commitment here with you. You know, I feel like they're trying to clear things up here with you if there's any sort of confusion because I feel like their intentions are that, okay, you know, they could be out there just meeting new friends, you know, kind of like making connections or networking here. Their intentions are not to sleep with other people or cheat on you here. Yeah, I feel like this person really values this connection here with you a lot. With the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles here, and the Four of Wands here. Let's see. We have the King of Pentacles, Capricorn. Yeah, this person's serious. So if you're worried about this person, you know, exploring other options, sleeping around with other people, no, I feel like this person's just out there networking. I feel like this person's hanging out with friends. This person's not lying to you or anything like that. But I feel like you guys might be fighting about the same thing over and over and over again. And it could be a situation that this person's getting tired of this, okay? So you could switch the roles if you want to. Yeah, you could switch the roles if you want. So uh, that does it for Cancer. Moving on to Leo. All right, tell me about Leo, the person that Leo is dealing with or thinking of. What is this person's next move towards Leo? What is this person's next move towards Leo? What is this person's next move towards Leo? For August 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Leo. Leo. What is this person's next move towards Leo? Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the chariot in the reverse here and the emperor here. Something is not moving forward between you and this person here. I do feel like there's a pattern or a history of some sort of like, just things are not really moving forward or that things are not really solid here. Okay, things are a bit out of control or that this person that you're dealing with is out of control. I feel like it's, it's kind of like an abusive energy here. Yeah, I do feel like there's some sort of pattern of abuse here, their stress, their anxiety. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is that if you're dealing with some sort of abuse from someone here that you're dealing with, someone here that's really controlling, I do feel like it's time to let this person go and move on because I feel like it's gonna get a lot worse here. Someone has some sort of head injury here. Yeah, someone here has some sort of head injury here too. Nine of Swords, the Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy, and the full Aries, Aquarius energy. We have the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. We have the Six of Wands here. I pulled for them from the bottom. And the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Whoever this is, this person's like just egotistical. Yeah, I do feel like this person's going to give you the same controlling energy here. I also feel like this person might give you like a lot of narcissistic energy here too. And you know, one of the things I'm getting here, I do feel like this is an individual that's out there exploring other options because I feel like this person with the Four of Cups here tends to get bored very easily here, uh, 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 Leo, okay? So if you're in this situation, it's time to get yourself out of it, all right? Moving on to Virgo, moving on to Virgo. Tell me about Virgo, the person that Virgo is dealing with or thinking of. What is this person's next move towards Virgo? What is this person's next move towards Virgo for Virgo? Virgo, Virgo. Okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles here and the Ten of Wands. We have the Death card here. Whoever this is, I mean, you could flip the roles if you want. It could be a situation that someone here does not want to stand by someone anymore and also defend someone. You know, or 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 or, or, or uh, defend someone's really bad behavior. So there is an energy of here, someone here wanting to release, let go, and end things here and move on. Okay, so this could be you, or or like I said, you can switch the roles if you want. You, you know. So let's see what else we have here. We have the King of Swords, Leaper, Aquarius, Gemini. We have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse here, and the Six of Pentacles here. So what we have here, I feel like there is a situation where. I feel like you were, or that you are very insecure with this person here. And I feel like you're trying to overcome it or that you're trying to like right now, sort of like give to yourself and not give to this type of energy or th this type of person anymore here, Virgo. Okay, King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, this five of pentacles in the reverse and the six of pentacles here. Uh, we have the eight of cups and the Six of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, you're definitely walking away from a situation that's not very happy here. And I feel like once you walk away, you're gonna feel like you're, even though it's hard to walk away from someone, 
you know that it's right for you because I feel like there's going to be a huge weight lifted off your shoulders here and I feel like you're going to feel a lot happier here Virgo. You're going to feel a lot happier, okay? Knight of Pentacles here, King of Pentacles here, and Justice, yeah. So I feel like what's happening here is I feel like you're making a decision here or someone here is making a decision to cut someone out of their life. You know, whoever you're dealing with here, this person could be a karmic, yeah. You're moving on towards a new beginning. You're letting go of that strong grip that holds here. You're overcoming your fears about, you know, letting someone go, okay? So I feel like, you know, this is a tough decision that you're making here, but I feel like you you know that you're making this good uh, decision here because it, you know that it's good for you, okay? Uh, so, or someone here is making this decision and they know that it's good for them, all right? So moving on to Libra here, moving on to Libra. Tell me about Libra, the person that Libra is dealing with or thinking of. What is this person's next move towards Libra? What is this person's next move towards Libra for August 2023? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Libra. For Libra. For Libra. Okay, we have the Nine of Wands. We have the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces here, and the King of Pentacles here. Um, I feel like this person's intentions are, or that this person's next moves are to reveal what they've been hiding from you. You know, you know, I feel like, you know, this person could have been very cagey, this person could have been very secretive, or that you just don't know a lot about this person. I do feel like this person will reveal to you that they have had a lot of trauma or that they suffered a lot of trauma in their life here. Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands, the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces, King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. What else do we have here for Libra? We have the Three of Swords. Oh, wow. We have the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Cups. So, oh, you know, I feel like this person might be telling the truth here, too. Yeah, whatever secret that they might be revealing here, it, it could be, it could be, it could be something that will really hurt you here with the Three of Swords and the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Cups here, uh, because you do have some sort of commitment with this individual. Yeah, this person's definitely coming in to tell you the truth, something that they've been hiding from you, which I feel like it might be a third party situation here. Yeah, it might be some sort of third party situation. Tell me tell me more about Libra. Okay, we have the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, and the Five of Cups here in the Chariot. This person is very apologetic here. This person had a very weak moment. And I feel like what's happening is what's happening here, I feel like this person wants to get back on track here with you. Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, Chariot, Cancer, Energy. Yeah, they're looking for a, a new beginning. They're looking to apologize here. They're looking to make peace with you, okay? They're looking to heal this connection here. Yeah, there's going to be some sort of betrayal here that's uh, that, that's that's going to happen, whoever, or that this might have happened already. Yeah, uh, because there is some sort of betrayal. This person's definitely revealing some sort of secret that they've been hiding from you, and it has to do with the third party, okay, Libra? Moving on to Scorpio, Scorpio. All right, tell me about Scorpio here, the person that Scorpio is dealing with or thinking of. What is this person's next move towards Scorpio? What is this person's next move towards Scorpio? What is this person's next move towards Scorpio for August 2023? For Scorpio, for Scorpio, for Scorpio. We have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the Eight of Cups here. You know, I feel like this person's feeling very lonely without you here since you walked away from them or since they walked out on you. Whoever this is, I feel like this is an individual that's missing you here. Uh, the Queen of Cups, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy here. What else do we have here for Scorpio? Uh, yeah, I just feel like this person wants to see you too. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Yeah, this person wants to see the Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy and the Emperor here. Whoever this is, this is an individual that's definitely going through like a major upheaval here or some major realization that perhaps, you know what, you're done with this person, you're walking away from them. Uh, you know, and I feel like it could be a situation that this person's completely surprised by that once they come forward, that you don't want to talk to them. You don't want anything to do with them anymore. You know, I feel like, you know, this is like hitting them really hard. Or that, you know, they're maybe facing the reality that this is really, 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 really over and they should have thought about it before they walked out. All right. What else do we have here for Scorpio? Okay, we have the judgment card, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, some here is definitely facing their judgment here. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, and the Ten of Cups here. You know, someone here is facing their judgment. Some here could be facing their karma. But with this masculine here, I feel like that's you, Scorpio. You're just happy. 
yeah, you're just happy with where you're at. Some of you, some of you guys could have moved on to a new relationship here too. If not, you guys are just really, really, really happy. Okay, so moving on to Sagittarius here. Sagittarius. Tell me about Sagittarius, the person that Sagittarius is dealing with, thinking of here. What is this person's next move towards Sagittarius? What is this person's next move towards Sagittarius for August 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Sagittarius, for Sagittarius. Okay, with the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. With the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. Okay, um, we have someone here that's coming in with a reconciliation here. Someone here coming with an apology. I, I would be very weary of this individual here because I feel like this person has been very in and out of your life. I feel like this person's all talk, no show. I feel like this person has dropped the ball quite a few times here, okay? So just be careful. This is a very non-committal individual here. This person's incredibly flighty. I feel like this person's only looking out for themselves here and protecting their own cups and they're not sharing it. You know, one moment I feel like this person's really, really solid. I feel like this person's definitely showing you, you know, equal give and take. They're putting in the effort here. And then the next moment, this person pulls their energy back. So just be careful and be weary of this individual because I feel like this is an individual that... This is someone that you can't really count on. You know, you could ask someone here, you know, this person to go get a carton of milk for you and this person comes back with a six pack of beer, you know? So just be careful. What else do we have here? We have the Six of Wands. We have the Ten of Swords and the Knight of Swords here. The, yeah, you know, it's so interesting because I feel like you're so confident that this person will betray you again. So I feel like you're not even going to take this on. Yeah, you're not even going to take this on. You're not even going to entertain this person here. Yeah, you're not even going to entertain this person because you know that this person is someone that you can't count on. Yeah, someone here is definitely looking to reconcile here with you. I mean, this person's in love with you. Uh, but, I, you know, with the Ten of Wands here, you know, I, I do feel like this person does have a lot of baggage. I do also feel like this person's exploring other options here. And I feel like you already know that. You know, because this person has done this multiple times, you know, they'll come back around and say, yeah, I'm going to be with you. You're the only person for me. There's no one else. But then there's someone else. OK, so that does it for Sagittarius. Moving on to Capricorn here. Capricorn. Tell me about Capricorn. The person that Capricorn is dealing with or thinking of. What is this person's next move towards Capricorn? What is this person's next move towards Capricorn? What is this person's next move towards Capricorn for August? Or, or for whenever. Like I said, these are timeless. Okay, we have the Four of Pentacles here. Uh, we have the Queen of Wands in the reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. Uh, whoever this is, this, this is an individual that is like very, 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 very mean. Uh, it, I feel like this person can't let you go, but at the same time with the Three of Wands, this is an individual that can't, that can't give you what you want either. Because I feel like you're realizing that you're not seeing a future with this individual. This person keeps making false promises and then nothing ever happens. But for some reason with the Four, four of uh, Pentacles here, they can't let you go. Could be a situation that you and this person have really great sex here. Okay, or that you might have a hard time letting this person go to uh, uh, Capricorn. So let's see what else we have here. We have the devil. Whoa. Uh, this is someone that you don't want to deal with here. This is an individual that's very, 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 very toxic here. And I feel like you already know that. Yeah, it's, I, I do feel like there's a struggle with codependency here. There's a lot of arguing. There's a lot of fighting here. There's a lot of jealousy. You know, I feel like there could be drugs that are involved here. I feel like this is you. Yeah, I feel like this is you. This is you realizing that, you know what? I'm turning my back on this. I don't have time for this. I'm going to get all this like icky energy off me. You know, I see some of you guys saging a lot and doing like, you know, a ritual or, you know, just cutting energetic cords, you know, doing like Reiki work or shamanic work. Okay. What else do we have? We have the Hierophant here, Taurus energy. Um, we have the Four of Cups here and the Ten of Cups. This is an individual that's about to offer you, perhaps again, some sort of higher levels of commitment here. But I feel like Capricorn, you're just like, this is BS. I don't have time for this. I don't want to reconcile. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to meet with you. This is over. I'm cutting you out. I'm seeing you for the truth of who you are as a person. And you're a liar. You're manipulative. Uh, you, know, I, you know, you just don't have time for this. 
okay? So that does it for Capricorn here. Moving on to Aquarius, Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, tell me about Aquarius here. The person that Aquarius is dealing with or thinking of. What is this person's next move towards Aquarius? What is this person's next move towards Aquarius? What is this person's next move towards Aquarius for August 2023? Oh, why do I keep saying the date? I mean, th these are timeless. We have the lovers here, Gemini energy. We have the six of pentacles and the four of cups. Mm. It seems like this person's trying to make you some sort of offer here. I, I do feel like you guys have a strong connection or a strong bond here. I mean, this could be a, a person that's apologizing for choosing the snake over you, uh, 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 Aquarius. Okay. Uh, we have the magician here, Gemini Virgo. Uh, we have the justice card, Libra energy. And then the tower here. Oh, yeah. Some here is definitely facing their karma here. Yeah, they're hoping that their apology could clear out their karma because I do feel like this is an individual that's going through like a major upheaval here. You know, I feel like this person is facing karma for being manipulative, for being controlling here. You know, maybe this person has like done some sort of spell work or that this person, it's not showing here, but maybe this person has psychically attacked you here too. The Magician, Gemini, Virgo, Justice, Libra, Energy, the Tower, Aries, Scorpio, Energy. What else do we have here? We have the Six of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the Ten of Swords here. Well, this person definitely has betrayed you a lot. This person's definitely facing the music for the pain that they've caused you here. And I feel like this person definitely wants to come in to apologize. This person needs to drop the ego here too. You know, I just feel like this is a very egotistical person. You know, I feel like this person has, you know, a, like kind of like a low sense of awareness or, you know, some sort of acknowledgement that they've hurt you here. You know, I feel like this person, you know, kind of shrugged things off the shoulder here. You know, they try and make it nice and they think that, you know, that's going to be okay. But, you know, the actual work that needs to be done and I feel like this person ha uh, is not really capable of doing that, uh, um, uh, Aquarius. All right, moving on to Pisces, Pisces. 40. Tell me about Pisces here, the person that Pisces is dealing with or thinking of. What is this person's next move towards Pisces? What is this person's next move towards Pisces? For August, why do I keep saying the date? I mean, these are timeless for whatever. What is this person's next move towards Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Pisces. Okay, we have the Two of Swords and the Five of Pentacles and the Hangman here. Um, if you're wait, if if you're expecting this person to take some sort of action here towards you, this person's not going to do it. Yeah, uh, it's kind of like you guys are in this kind of like the stalemate energy here with the five of pentacles. I am not quite sure what's going on, but I feel like this person doesn't really maybe have a lot to give or a lot to offer here. Could be a situation that this person's just incredibly insecure here. Uh, they definitely have pulled their energy back. We have the hangman here, a poor, uh, poor Pisces energy. I almost said poor C. Let's see what else do we have here. We have the Eight of Pentacles, um, the uh, Three of Cups here, and the Knight of Cups. Seems like they're trying to work on reconciling here with you or trying to make something work here with you. Um, I, I, you know, I, I feel like this is an individual that avoids a lot of issues here. You know, I feel like this person avoids very difficult conversations. You know, just so you know, if you, you know, if you have trouble or you avoid difficult conversations, you will definitely have really difficult relationships. Okay. Uh, you know, this is a message for someone that I'm reading for here. So a uh, Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What else do we have here for Pisces? We have the Hierophant here, Taurus Energy, the uh, Three of Pentacles here, and the Star. Seems like they want to work together here with you. Yeah, it seems like they want to work together here with you. I feel like one of the things I'm getting here is that I feel like also maybe they're they're looking towards you or looking for you to be patient with them too. Uh, it's it's almost like an energy that they're trying to get their bearings back. Um, you know, maybe this person has been through a lot. Maybe this person is financially struggling here. Maybe this person's definitely going through some sort of obstacles here, and they're looking for you to be patient with them as they recover here. They're looking for support. 
you know? So, you know, I do feel like, you know, when it comes to, you know, maybe taking things to the next level, you know, they're not really ready to invest yet until they fully recover from some sort of financial situation that they've been through here, okay? Or some sort of setback that they've been through. And they feel like they want you in their life. You know, I feel like they want to take time to work towards getting out of something here and work with you and slowly moving towards something, uh, you know, more at some point. But for now, I just feel like this person can't really give you what you want. Yeah. They can't really give you what you want. It seems like this person's definitely distancing themselves or that they had distanced themselves here. And this person's definitely doing some sort of inner work on themselves. Okay. I don't know. I, f I feel like it's almost like this person's like kind of like the, in this like eat, pray, love energy. It seems like this person's trying to find themselves. And I feel like this person's trying to do it through travel, through, through traveling here. So I feel like this person's never really present either. Okay. So, you know, this person's going through something here, you know, and I feel like it's important for you to make a decision whether you want to stick around for this or not. All right. So Pisces, that does it for all 12 signs. I hope that this was helpful, you guys. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Like I said, you guys, I'm going to post the uh, timestamps in the comment section below. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.